South Africa hosts over two and a half million tourists a year, not surprising considering what the country has to offer. Whether you are drawn to the great climate of South Africa or the magnificent mountain ranges, five-star safaris, world-renowned wines, densely populated game parks, nightlife, white river rafting and other adventures are just the divine cuisine, South Africa offers it all. Here's my list of must-see places in South Africa, number one being my personal favorite for reasons you will understand at the end of the video. The rest being in no particular order. Number seven, Cape Town, beach, mountain, nature, city, nightlife, shopping, food, adventure. Cape Town has it all and is one of South Africa's capital cities, situated on the southwest coast and boasts one of the new seven wonders of the world, Table Mountain. It's a modern cosmopolitan city surrounded by nature. Number 6, Hermanus. Situated southeast of Cape Town it is known for its whale watching, includes the Harbour Museum as well as the Whale Museum and is predominantly a fisherman's village, with gourmet restaurants and fertile winelands. Number 5, Kruger National Park. A 2 million hectare park with historical and archaeological sites. Situated in northeast South Africa and includes the Big Five with mountains, bush plains and tropical forests. With its well-maintained roads it makes for a great self-drive, or you can choose from a luxury to standard safari. Number 4. Garden Route. Located in the Western Cape it stretches from Mossel Bay to Storms River and offers nature reserves, canoeing, wine tasting, numerous beaches, beautiful scenery, lagoons, waterfalls, berry picking, ostrich and olive farms. Number 3, Isamangaliso Wetlands. Spanning 280 kilometers of protected coastline situated on the south coast in KwaZulu Natal. It has some of the highest coastal vegetated dunes, which are 25,000 years old. Activities include boat safaris and snorkeling. Number 2, Palanisberg National Park. Situated in the northwestern province of South Africa between the Kalahari and the Low Felt, here you can also see the Big Five, it has over 360 bird species and 200 kilometers of road and offers great accommodation.
Number 1 and my personal favorite. This is the area I like to call the Upper West Coast and stretches from Lambert's Bay to Azerfontaine. This area still has the small town West Coast feel to it, which I prefer to the hustle and bustle of Cape Town. The towns along this coast are mainly fishermen towns with old charm and beauty. It offers crayfish diving, whale watching, vineyards, great seafood restaurants, nature reserves and some of the oldest villages on the West Coast. I find the friendliest people and the most beautiful landscape in this area, with endless white beaches and a feel all of its own. This area needs to be experienced personally as photos don't convey the feel you get when visiting this gorgeous stretch of the west coast, it's a place you will never want to leave.